Ladies and gentlemen, there is one question that all of you need to ask in order to stop your foreclosure from continuing. That one question is, is just one simple question. Is my note being traded on the market? Now remind them, you're only holding the note as an IOU. It doesn't belong to you. You're just the holder of the note, not the owner of the note. So is my note in any fashion, shape, or form being traded on the market? That's your first question. Here's the follow-up question. And if so, is there revenue being generated as a result of the trading of it on any market? Just that simple. Now, hold on. Your reasoning is, wait, hold on a minute. You're making a profit off of my property and you're not compensating me for that? Your Honor, I want them arrested for theft. They'll say, what are you talking about? I didn't give them permission to trade my property on the market and not compensate me. I've not been compensated and they are committing fraud because they're not offsetting the account for the amount that they are making with the trade on the market, which the law requires them to do so. Our agreement requires them to do so in the Uniform Commercial Code, Article 9, Section 6, or excuse me, Article 3, Section 6, requires them to do so. Article 3, Article 5, Article 9. Ladies and gentlemen, if they're trading your mortgage on the market, your card note on the market, your student loan on the market, if they've converted it to a security under any fashion, that doesn't belong to them. They're only holding it. That's why they're called the holder in due course. It belongs to you. It's an IOU. I promise to pay is an IOU. You're only giving them permission to hold it. Now, you did give them when you signed those papers, you did give them permission to trade it, but you didn't give them permission not to compensate you. They have not been compensating you. Here's the problem, problem, problem. Here is the issue. They did give you a 1099. They did send it to you originally when you got that whole lump sum of paper and they put in a notification. Hey, we're going to stop sending you these 1099s uh, if you don't tell us that you want us to continue sending them to you. And they stopped sending them to you. So you don't know that you're supposed to be filling out some papers in order to get paid, but it's okay. Don't you dare fret. Don't you dare worry. Not one moment should you worry, including if they've already foreclosed on you. Go back and get your money if they foreclosed on you. Remember, they're trading it on the market continually to this day. When they foreclose on your property, they're supposed to return the promissory note because when they foreclose on your property, the deal is dead. When they say you no longer owe any money on this note, they are supposed to return the note to you. They're supposed to stop trading it. That's why we told you to do a margin call. But hold on now. For those of you who are currently going through foreclosure, just send them a nice little letter. Hey, are you guys trading this note on the market in any way? Just yes or no. And then call it an interrogatory. Just send them one question. Are you trading this on the market? Yes or no? In any fashion, are you trading this on the market? Yes or no? Just ask them that one question. That's it. Oh, no, you're not foreclosing on my property. <laughs> Apparently, you've been committing fraud because you're making a profit. No, if they're trading it on the market, they've made a gain, what's called a capital gain. Ladies and gentlemen, they are supposed to offset your account. They're to make a profit, you're to make a profit at the same time, and they're supposed to be offsetting the difference, and they're not offsetting the difference. That's why we're going after their comprehensive financial report. And now, those of you, please understand, we're, when this video is done, this one for autos, the lawsuit for autos will be up. That question is in here as well. Don't say, I ain't never did nothing for y'all. Gotta go. Have a good day, everybody.